While most of us associate islands with a relaxing tropical getaway, not all islands are created the same. From islands covered in children's toys and dolls, to those that look like they're from another world, there are many weird and wonderful secluded landmasses on our planet. Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the world's most bizarre islands, uncovering the secrets they hold and the history behind their oddity. You wouldn't want to get stranded in some of these places. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Number 10. Socotra Island Off the coast of Yemen is the bizarre Socotra Island, which looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film. The unique appearance is thanks to the abundance of endangered flora, which is unique to the island and thrives off of the remote location's isolation, extreme temperatures, and arid environment. A third of Socotra Island's plant life is found nowhere else on Earth but the island. Thankfully, 70% of the island has been set aside as a national park, protecting it from development and human interference. So the island will remain its alien appearance for the foreseeable future. Some plants resemble upside-down turnips, while others have branches that are devoid of leaves. There are even some plants on Socotra Island that produce crimson sap, earning it the name of Dragon's Blood Tree. These trees also have no leaves, save for at the very end of their branches, making them look as though the trees grow upside down. These strange trees are said to be used for their medicinal value, though they are also used in dyeing fabric, staining wood, and producing fragrant incense. On Socotra Island, you'll also find the bottle tree, an odd-looking plant that has adapted to store water in a dry climate. It is characterized by its sparse limbs and thick trunk, which gives rise to clusters of thin branches that end in bushes of vibrant green leaves. Number 9. The Floating Eye Island In the Piranha Delta, between the cities of Zarate and Campana in Argentina, is an island that is shaped like a near-perfect circle. The Floating Eye Island has a diameter of 390 feet and is surrounded by a channel that also forms an almost perfect circle. Thanks to the presence of the round landmass within this channel, the island looks strikingly similar to a crescent moon. Together, both the channel and the island resemble an eye, which is how the island earned its nickname. Stranger yet is the fact that the eye floats. It rotates on its own axis with the movement of the water below it. The Floating Eye Island was discovered by filmmaker Sergio Niespella, who stumbled across the island while scouting locations for a science fiction movie. Talk about an alien island! Having made this incredible discovery, Niespella and his crew created a documentary about the island, rather than filming the science fiction movie they'd originally planned. Because of this, we now have incredible footage of the eye floating in a circular motion, which, when sped up several times, looks like a giant eye observing its surroundings. Perhaps it's Mother Nature rolling her eye at humanity's destruction of her creation. Number 8. Earthquake Island In September of 2013, a powerful earthquake shook Pakistan, toppling homes across the country and causing 39 casualties. But that's not all the earthquake did. In fact, it was so powerful that it created an entirely new island, which was aptly named the Earthquake Island. According to Pakistan's chief meteorologist, Mohammad Riaz, the earthquake measured a magnitude of 7.7. The island in question did not exist before the earthquake occurred. However, after the event, Pakistan's meteorological department's director general said that locals reported witnessing the creation of the tiny island, which measures just 330 feet in length. The island is located near the port of Gwadar and is nothing more than a mass of earth and rock, with not a sign of flora or fauna in sight. According to Pakistani officials, the earthquake likely buckled a section of land under the sea, creating the island. However, further investigation would still be conducted to definitively determine the cause of this new landmass. Thankfully, no earthquakes have been recorded in the area since, so locals probably don't have to worry about an island suddenly appearing in their homes. Wait, is that how it works? Number 7. Vozrozdenir Island the next island comes straight from the plot of a horror movie. In the 1920s, Soviet Union officials sought a location with a very specific set of attributes. It needed to be isolated, surrounded by a desert, and within the borders of the Soviet Empire. Luckily for them, 
Two islands fit the bill, and in the end, they chose Vosrosdenir. The island is situated in the Aral Sea. We'll cut a long story short and spare you some of the more gruesome details of what the Soviets were doing on this island. All you need to know is that they constructed a top-secret biological weapons laboratory on the island, where they genetically modified the plague, smallpox, anthrax, and other diseases to be resistant to medical treatment. Yikes! The Soviets also captured and kept as many as 300 monkeys on a range next to instruments that measured the concentrations of pathogens in the air. Over time, the Aral Sea dried up, and the island simply merged into the surrounding desert. Today, the once secret facility lies in ruins, having been looted after its abandonment. What little is left of the infrastructure is haunting to say the least, an array of derelict buildings lying in ruins, and a dark history. Somebody needs to get Zach Bagans here ASAP! Number 6. Easter Island It would be criminal for us to leave Easter Island off this list. Famous for its otherworldly Maui statues, Easter Island is an anomaly for many reasons. Researchers have undergone dozens of expeditions to figure out how islanders once lived there, since the island was once rich with farmland despite being thousands of miles from any continent. It is believed that Rapa Nui, the island's former natives, inbred with South Americans well before Europeans landed on the island in 1772. However, to the surprise of the University of California at Santa Cruz's research team, the materials from the museums they tested indicated that the Rapa Nui and South Americans had no contact with one another before the arrival of the Europeans. So if their research proves to be correct, then the Rapa Nui clearly did not have help from the South Americans in creating and moving the island's heavy Maui statues. They did it themselves. These days, we understand how the Maui were created. Sadly, after raiders invaded the island, the Rapa Nui were wiped out by slaving, infighting, and disease, leaving their origins and their homeland an utter mystery to the world. Number 5. Diego Garcia if you're a fan of interestingly shaped geography, then the Diego Garcia Island may be your next fascination. The 44 square kilometer, vaguely U shaped island in the Indian Ocean is home to thick tropical jungles and white sandy beaches, making it an ideal location for holiday getaways. It was home to 2,000 native Chagossians until they were forcibly relocated by the British government between 1968 and 1973. This was done in order to facilitate the construction of a US naval base in exchange for Britain's agreement to lease the island. Its strategic location between the Middle East, East Africa, and Southeast Asia makes it an ideal location for the US to strike those regions. Typical. Despite being a natural tropical paradise, Diego Garcia was used to stage air support operations during the Gulf War of 1991, as well as the 2001 Afghanistan War and the 2003 Iraq War. Some also believe that the restricted, remote island houses a secret US prison camp. Naturally, American authorities deny these speculations. Regardless of what is or isn't really there, Diego Garcia is a fascination island that's more ocean than it is island. The actual landmass of the island is no more than a thin strip of land enclosing a pseudo lake of ocean water. Number 4. La Isla de las Muniacas Known as the Island of the Dolls, La Isla de las Muniacas is located in a canal near Mexico City. It aptly received its name from the fact that the entire island, every inch of it, is populated by dolls. Children's playthings hanging from trees, mounted in bushes, and even laying on the floor. It's a creepy place to be without a doubt. One story about the island states that a man by the name of Don Julian lost his mind fled from his family and found himself on the island where he hung out dozens of children's dolls to ward off evil spirits. It's unclear whether his efforts were successful, but it's inconsequential either way as he drowned not long after arriving on the island. There's no doubt that La Isla de las Muniacas is home to some supernatural occurrences, and there are plenty of videos out there of people exploring the island at night in the hope of discovering some kind of haunting. Whether or not any evidence that's been found is legitimate or not is another story, but the island is an entertaining phenomenon nonetheless. Perhaps Don Julian still remains in La Isla de las Muniacas in spirit. Would you visit to find out? Number 3. 
Partridge Island. The Partridge Island in Canada, which is located off the coast of St. John Harbour, became a station for quarantine in 1830. Immigrants would stay on the island after arriving in Canada to ensure that they didn't spread shipborne diseases to Canadian citizens. Thousands were quarantined on Partridge Island during Ireland's Great Famine. The diseases against which the quarantine guarded included typhus, cholera, scarlet fever, smallpox, and more. New immigrants were treated to kerosene showers, shortly followed by showers in hot water. Needless to say, many denizens of Partridge Island were sick, and the island couldn't handle the vast quantity of people who continued to arrive. Immigrants who perished on the island were buried there en masse in a mass grave. It's rumored that the grass over this mass grave was of a green more vibrant than the surrounding gardens because of the corpses of the dead which nourish the soil. If there's ever been a haunted island, it's in Canada. These days, only the bravest visit this tragic historic site to experience the supernatural. Number 2. Bannerman Island Castle lovers rejoice! Bannerman Island is up next and located in the Hudson River, a mere half-hour boat ride from New York City. This is the only way to reach the island, and visitors to this mysterious place often wonder why there's a castle on it. Well, the story behind it is quite interesting. The castle was constructed by Frank Bannerman VI, who made his fortune by selling surplus military equipment, which he purchased from government auctions after the end of the American Civil War. Bannerman needed a place to store the masses of black powder he owned, along with the other military surplus items. Luckily for him, his son David knew of Polypel Island. Clearly a man prone to frivolous purchases, Bannerman bought the island in 1900, upon which he built an arsenal and a small castle to serve as his own. He also renamed the island after himself. How humble! When Bannerman perished in 1918, construction on the island ceased. The ferryboat was destroyed by a storm some years later, and in 1969, a fire raised the arsenal. New York State declared the island off-limits shortly after. Bannerman Island was recently reopened in 2017 and is now a popular historical tourist destination. Number 1. Tashirojima Island Enough with the morbid history. Our final spot is taken by Tashirojima Island, which is colloquially known as the Cat Island. This Japanese island has less than 100 human residents, but has many more cat residents. The cats were allegedly introduced in the 1850s to cull the growing population of mice. After many Tashirajima's residents moved away to bigger and better things, the cats were left to their own devices. Naturally, their population count skyrocketed, and today, the few residents that remain see the feline friends as good luck charms. If you ever decide to visit the island, you can even stay in a cat-like cabin to fully immerse yourself though you should probably stay away from Tashirojima if you have any allergies. You've made it to the end of the video. As a reward, here's a fun bonus fact related to Tashirojima Island. There's another island in Japan called Okonoshima Island or Rabbit Island. Between 1929 and 1945, the Japanese army used this island to test chemical weapons and apparently brought dozens of rabbits as test subjects. The rabbits living there today are said to be the descendants of those original rabbits. Which island do you want to visit? Let us know in the comments section. If you liked the video, consider supporting the channel by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And be the first to know when we post a new video by ringing the bell down below. Until next time, bye bye.